Okay. Back to the Instapot. The blueberry sauce is done. It's gonna spout off steam for that, for like that for a little, about a minute or so. Meanwhile, I'm getting started on the pizza sauce. One second, let's, let's see. Oh, there you go. I'm Matt. Is there. So yeah, so I'm getting started on the pizza sauce, and ooh, that smells really good. So I'll let you uh, finish listening to the dulcet sounds. So I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit, and meanwhile, I'm going to make my the white pizza sauce so i got this recipe from hang on a second it's called simple comfort food and it's a garlic cream sauce and this is the this is the only recipe i use when i make pizza i love white pizza after having the sauce so it calls for unsalted butter um olive oil, three cloves of minced garlic, a half a cup of heavy cream, um, a quarter cup of 2% milk. I get cream line milk, so I get what I get. Um, and a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese grated, and a generous pinch of salt and pepper, and a very small pinch of red chili flakes. So I... Okay guys, I'm melting the butter right now. I'm gonna add the table spoons or I guess teaspoons of garlic and make sure you stir the garlic so it doesn't burn. I'm going to add the milk and the heavy cream. Now because I use cream lined milk it this fat is not homogenized so it does separate. So if you're using cream lined milk just make sure you keep stirring it to get that fat kind of incorporated with the rest of the milk and the cream. Right now you want to get the milk and cream mixture up to a nice rolling boil. And then when it want to get to that point, you can add your salt and your pepper. My grinder was not cooperating with me. The steam was making the end of it gunk up. Then add the chili flakes and then the Parmesan cheese. And stir it. It's going to get pretty thick quick if you've got it on the right temperature. Um, just make sure that it doesn't burn on the bottom so that's why I'm continuing to stir. And once you get it to a consistency you like then you can stop. Okay guys for the pizza crust I'm using a store bought one that I got from Wegmans. It's organic. I am putting it in a half sheet pan that I blend in slow pat. That's a pastry roller I'm using. The large end spreads out the dough. The smaller end I use to help form the crust on the pizza. I really, really like it. Now it's time for the sauce. So I pour it on, just spread it. No particular way. Um, now for my toppings, and you can change this if you want, but what I do is I use fresh, fresh mozzarella, and I use pretty much the whole pack, which was eight ounces if I remember. I find the pressed mozzarella doesn't spread as much as like the shredded stuff, so you may have to add more if you want it to be covered like a real true pizza. Then I add goat's cheese. I love the combination of the goat's cheese and the fresh mozzarella. Then I'm adding some fresh basil. I don't even know how much I use. I just do it till it looks right. Then I add some red onion. I think I used half of one and then I used some yellow and green peppers. I like colorful food and I did some bacon in the microwave for like a minute to partially cook it because I find it's too oily if you just put it in raw and then I put some pepperoni in it and then it goes in the oven. Okay so I don't know how long it's been in there because I don't cook by time I cook by how it looks. I think it was like 30, 40 minutes. I just know when it looks done. So I, as you can see, I'm drizzling the barbecue sauce all over it. You can drizzle to taste. I usually start with some drizzle, then add some to each piece. And now I'm going to cut it. Now I don't recommend if you're using it in a pan to cut it using a pizza wheel, but in this case, it's lined with slow pat, so the pan is protected. Aside from that, I would be 
probably pulling it out of the pan or something to cut it on a hard surface. So my crust is very well done. And so it took a little bit of doing to get it out of the pan. Probably if I had used a harder surface, it would have come out much easier. But oh well. Okay, so it's done. I added a little bit more barbecue sauce, so now I'm going to go finish my dinner. As you can see, this is a great way to use some of that produce that's in, that you're getting from your garden this time of year. And hopefully it was a little bit fun rather than just, you know, salads and blueberry pies and that sort of thing. So I may be able to make each pie in the next couple of weeks. Jury's still out on that one, unfortunately, because I am packing. It's a little gap right now. You're probably going to notice a slowdown in the video just because, like I said, I'm winding things up in this house. And hopefully once I get into a new place, then we'll start cooking up. Uh, the next few videos, I may have a couple, maybe one or two I've already filmed. But for the most part, they're probably going to be more like finding a house type videos. Which I do apologize, but hey, listen, this is part of the process of me finding my home. So I will see you guys in the next video, and thank you for watching!